We really try to do strange, weird stuff with electricity and software. This technology is getting smaller and cheaper. That means really weird stuff can happen with it. So we can take more risk and then you're going to get more exciting projects. We were contacted by Intel to design a project around a new board that they're making called the Intel Galileo, which is really one of their first sort of forays into the maker movement, creating something that hackers and technologists can use to build things with. We're building the Yes Yes Bot. We thought that was a very cute name. <laughs> it's a robot that is going to go around the Maker Faire in Rome and give away candies for everybody. It is a really simple robot. It has different motor controls and it has LEDs and, and sound and so on. And it's remote controlled. It is really fun to sort of move it around and have it interact with the audience. It's made out of very light materials such as foam and plastic. Masala found a water bottle in the studio and then she cut a hole in the water bottle and we 3D printed a little container that we can attach a servo to and that's how we dispense the candy. Designing the robot and then using laser cutter, using 3D printer, using this sort of rapid fabrication techniques, the timeline of going from like a sketch to a physical thing is getting shorter and shorter. There's a bunch of individual pieces that are all connected to each other. The Galileo is the center, and we like this idea that you don't need like one master smart object, but you need maybe potentially different objects that can talk to each other and create a network, and there's something more powerful about a distributed system than something which is just like one object. The Galileo is acting like a little server. You have very small computers that we can put out into the world that can connect to each other. This is kind of Internet of Things, objects that are smart and responding. Anybody with a smartphone device, they can load the app onto their phone and then they can be able to control the robot. So the idea is kind of every, everybody can take turn and just have fun and see how this robot works and how the technology works. We're really big advocates for open source and we're already you know, starting to put the code for this project online and also put the schematics as we go. We will document how we connected these different programs on the Galileo board and hopefully other people that are working with it will be able to use that and then push it much further. When you see a company, rather than sort of closing things down and making things proprietary and making things sort of unhackable, actually say, let's work with the artists, let's work with the hackers, let's give them tools and open up our systems and our platforms for creative expression. That's probably the most exciting thing about this project.